Beau Biden died of brain cancer at the age of 46 on Saturday. Beau, the son of Vice President Joe Biden, was being treated at the Walter Red Military Medical Center in Bethesda, MD, at the time of his death. The Iraq War veteran and former Attorney General of Delaware had previously planned to run for the state's governorship in 2016. Vice President Biden commented on his son's death in the following statement released by the White House. It is with broken hearts that Holly, Hunter, Ashley, Jill, and I announced the passing of our husband, brother, and son, Bo, after he battled brain cancer with the same integrity, courage, and strength he demonstrated every day of his life. The entire Biden family is saddened beyond words. We know that Bo's spirit will live on in all of us, especially through his brave wife, Holly, and two remarkable children, Natalie and Hunter. Bo's life was defined by service to others. As a young lawyer, he worked to establish the rule of law in war-torn Kosovo. A major in the Delaware National Guard, he was an Iraq War veteran and was awarded the Bronze Star. As Delaware's Attorney General, he fought for the powerless and made it his mission to protect children from abuse. More than his professional accomplishments, Bo measured himself as a husband, father, son, and brother. His absolute honor made him a role model for our family. Bo embodied my father's saying that a parent knows success when his child turns out better than he did. In the words of the Biden family, Bo Biden was, quite simply, the finest man any of us have ever known. President Barack Obama also honored Bo's memory, sharing his thoughts in the following statement, Michelle and I are grieving tonight. Bo Biden was a friend of ours. His beloved family, Holly, Natalie, and Hunter, are friends of ours. And Joe and Jill Biden are as good as friends get. Bo took after Joe. He studied the law, like his dad, even choosing the same law school. He chased a life of public service, like his dad, serving in Iraq as Delaware's attorney general. Like his dad, Bo was a good, big-hearted, devoutly Catholic and deeply faithful man who made a difference in the lives of all he touched and he lives on in their hearts. But for all that Bo Biden achieved in his life, nothing made him prouder, nothing made him happier, nothing claimed a fuller focus of his love and devotion than his family. Just like his dad. Joe is one of the strongest men we've ever known. He's as strong as they come, and nothing matters to him more than family. It's one of the things we love about him. And it is a testament to Joe and Jill, to who they are, that Bo lived a life that was full, a life that mattered, a life that reflected their reverence for family. The Bidens have more family than they know. In the Delaware they love. In the Senate Joe reveres. Across this country that he has served for more than 40 years. And they have a family right here in the White House, where hundreds of hearts ache tonight, for Holly, Natalie, and Hunter, for Joe and for Jill, for Bo's brother, Hunter, his sister, Ashley, and for the entire Biden clan. I have believed the best of every man, wrote the poet William Butler Yeats, and find that to believe it is enough to make a bad man show him at his best or even a good man. Swing his lantern higher. Bo Biden believed the best of us all. For him, and for his family, we swing our lanterns higher. Michelle and I humbly pray for the good Lord to watch over Bo Biden, and to protect and comfort his family here on earth.